that's just going to be... <laughs> so what we're going to get... Is we're going to get... What is this? This is... In hex, it's 9 what? 9... Zero, one, zero, three, five, one. Are there more people? So the, the fast way I like to do this is since that's 9b, it's 9 times 16 plus 11. Okay? Oh, sign. Well, unsigned, it's 9 times 16. <laughs> if it's signed, right, what do I do? I flip the bits. 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0. And then I find this number. So the easy way to do this is you get what? This is 1, 2, 4, 3, 16, 32, 64. Sorry. Okay, zero, zero, one, zero, right? Zero, one, one, zero. Okay, so that's one, two, four, eight, sixteen, thirty-two, sixty-four, and So I get sixty-four plus thirty-six plus four, right? So thirty-two. Don't you have to add one? Yeah. 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 You just choose to Yeah, you will. Okay. But you just, you just want the unsigned value, right? Okay. And then, yeah, plus one. So that becomes five, you get 69, plus 32 is 101. Is that right? Yeah. Okay, so I get one, negative 101, if it's signed, and then I get nine times 16. Obviously, that would be really easy, but I would get that wrong. Uh, so, can we get more people in here? Because I, I don't, I don't want to leave the door open. So there's some space up front if you sit So there's some space up here. There's some space in between the rows back there. When, when, when one of those classes gets out, or one of those uh, things gets out, we'll move into that room. There's a lot more room. There's like double the number of seats. All right, okay, so what is the value of the carry bit after executing the following instructions? Can anyone tell me? One. Why? It's unsigned add overflow. Yeah, unsigned add overflow. So what happens here? What is hex 6? 0, 1, 0, 1. 0, 1, 1, 0. 1, 0, right? Hex 6 is 0, 1, 1, 0. And C is going to be 1, 1, 0, 0, right? So what happens? I get an overflow. Why? Because this 1 here, when I add these, I just have to look at the topmost bits, right? When I add these two 1s here, what happens? I get a carry, and then I get another carry. But this carry doesn't fit in my 32 bits, so I get an overflow. Does that make sense? Okay. So this means that the C bit is equal to 1. Now, be careful for questions like this, because what happens if I remove this S? Right. It won't set the condition code. So anytime I have S, it can set the condition code. Anytime I don't have the S, it doesn't. So make sure that you are very attentive to that. Now this next one. What will be the value of the overflow, the overflow bit B after executing the follow? It's a 1, right? Can everyone see why? So what's going to happen is you're going to add two negative numbers and you're going to get a positive number. So the B bit actually indicates an underflow, okay? Which means that I go, you know, too low, I get two negative. So if we do that one, 
I get the complement, right, the two's complement of, of the six. You can do the math, but I don't know. Really Does everyone understand that? Because when I add these two negative numbers, I'm going to get a positive number. All right. So what is the value of the R0 register after executing the following? So what happens first? What happens here? R0 equals 5. What is LSL? <coughs> so I left shift by 1. So if this is a hex 5, what does it become? Hex. On, wait, on C, wouldn't that be just negative 13, which would be D? Where? On C. negative D. Well, okay, so you have two negative numbers. Think about what negative is in X. Yeah. You're gonna get you're gonna get a B bit. Okay. So what's gonna happen is do so you remember that number wheel thing, right? It's gonna cross through the bottom of the number wheel. Okay. Because yeah so six plus seven is thirteen, right? Which gives you a D. But you can't just add six plus thirteen. Okay, wait, okay, so you get Have those all those f's, right? Because it's going to be like f of f, or it's going to be like some extremely negative number in a bunch of f's. It's going to roll around in such a way that you get a positive f. So let's see if that happens. So if I get, so the first one is going to be one zero one one, and the rest are going to be all f's, right? Because I add that one. Or actually, they're going to be all zeros. And then here I'm going to get. <coughs> yeah, all the rest of them are going to be zeros after that. Because you add the ones, and it triggers a chain up to here. And so this is also a zero. And then, so if I take the complement here, I'm going to get 0, 0, 1, 1. <coughs> so seven is going to be one zero zero one and zero one one That's zero. Yeah. yeah. So then you get like a carry here. So you're going to get one zero one zero zero one one zero. So this gives you a carry, right? This gives you a carry. This gives you a carry. You get a zero here, so you get a positive number. So let me go over that again. So if I have negative. I have negative six and a bunch of zeros, right? So I get six, seven, and the rest are zeros, right? We agree. They're negative. So six is going to be one, one, zero, right? That's going to be the first four bits, the first nibble, right? And then for seven, the first nibble is going to be zero, one, one, right? So when I, and it's going to be a bunch of zeros, right, obviously negative. When I make each of these negative, right, when I make the first value negative, it becomes, I invert it, right, so I get 0, 0, 1, and then 1, 1, 1, blah, 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 blah. The rest are 1s, right? When I add the plus 1, because of 2's complement, what happens? I get carries all the way up to the first 0. Does that make sense? Everyone understand what I'm saying here? If you don't, say no, because it would be really easy. Okay, so if I have a number, right, and it's 32 bits, and it's 0, 0, 1, I just, I want to do 2's complement. So I'm taking the 2's complement of hex 6. I have 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, right? And all the rest of the bits are 1, right? Up to 32 bits. When I add that 1, what's going to happen? This will become a 0, and it'll carry, right? This will become a 1, and it'll carry. All the way up to the first 0 that it sees, and the first 0 will become a 1, and everything behind it will be a 0. Does that make sense? So the two's complement of this number in binary is going to be some number that is one zero one zero, and then a bunch of zeros. Okay. Same thing for the for the seven, right? I'm going to get 
zero, one, one, zero, right? And then I'm going to get carried all the way up to here. So I get zero, one, 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 right? And then a bunch of zeros. Does everyone agree with me? Everyone following? So then what happens here? Here I get a one. When I add these two, what do I get? I get a one. I get a carry, right? I get a carry. And then I get a carry, right? This right here says that I just added two negative numbers and I got a positive. Does that make sense? Because this carry bit can't fit in the 32-bit 32, 32 number. I'm confused as to how you're most significant bet is a zero yeah, negative that's number. Isn't that yeah, positive seven on the bottom, bottom and not negative seven? Yeah. Right, so, so that's what I'm saying. So that's the reason that the B bit is one in that problem, right? But they're supposed no, to be yeah, 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 Shouldn't that be yeah, one, one, one zero, 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 zero on the bottom? Seven. Seven. So, but then, yeah. You, you, yeah, negative, negative, seven negative, negative seven is one zero zero one. Yeah. Negative seven is one zero. Yeah. Yeah. So then the one would come back. Oh. So then you get one zero zero zero, and you get that one. Yeah. So then here, I get one zero one zero one zero zero one. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. So this is negative hex 6, negative hex 7, right? And when I add them, I get a 1, I get a 1 here, a 1 here, a 0 here, I still get a 0, and the 1 carries out, right? That 1, I get a carry. That indicates that I've had an underflow, right? Because I've added two negative numbers, and I got a positive number, right? Because the most significant bit is a 0. Does see that? So that's why the answer to this question here is that the B bit is set to 1. Okay? So on one of those backwards, C and D, like 1 means it's set to the all. First thing I did was I moved 5, hex 5, right, into R0. When I let shift it by 1, what happens? It becomes hex a. hex a, right? So then now R0 is equal to hex 0a. Okay? Now what do I do here with R1? I'm loading this value into R1, right? So R1 just gets that value. So R1 is now equal to x a blah blah blah. If I OR the two, what happens? Right. So I get R0. Oh, that's on the case here. So now R0 gets some value a, a bunch of zeros, a. All right? Really count your zeros. I'm not going to do it. But on the test, count your zeros. It's important. Um, and then what is this? What is ASR? Arithmetic shift right. Arithmetic shift right. What does that mean? Sign extends. Sign extends. So what's going to happen here? What am I going to get? If I shift it right by 1, <coughs> xA, a is equal to 1010, zero, zero, right? So when I shift this first A, what do I get? I'm going to get 11010. One, zero, one, zero. And then on the bottom, what is the bottom bit? Reduce that zero, zero, one, zero, one, zero, one. One, zero one. So I'm gonna. The final value is going to be hex d eight, right? A bunch of zeros. Five. Yeah, it should be d zero. How do I get 101 at the end? Okay, so so if I have a yeah, so if I have this value right, and I want to write, I want to arithmetic write shift, right? The first the first nibble is going to be 1010, right? 
then I have a ton of zeros, and then I have one zero, one zero again, right? So if I shift it right by one, arithmetic right shift, at the topmost I get one, one, zero, one, zero, right? And a bunch of zeros. And at the bottom, I just lose this bottom piece, right? Because it's getting shifted out. It's a parallel shift. So I get zero, one, two, one, right? And this is five. Okay. Questions about that? So you just said an extra one, or where did you get the first one from? Yeah. Okay, so in your book, my definition of what is arithmetic right shift is, is it preserves the sign. Right? It preserves the sign of the number you're doing. I think, yeah, it does. This is arithmetic shift. It's a Okay, so also if you look, we'll be giving you these pages. We'll be giving you these pages in the back of your test. So you'll get a bunch of opcodes. Right? And down here, you can look up what ASR is. And it's arithmetic right, arith arithmetic shift right. And to the right it says, is a signed and unsigned. If it's signed, right, it obviously has to preserve the topmost page. Is this line? Uh, this sheet? Uh, it should be on tab to like every, every practice test. So, identify the addressing code used in each of these. 